Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at something rather interesting and unique and that is the medieval trebuchet that you see right here and it's fully functioning, it resets itself, the OD input you have to do is attach a warhead onto it. So pressing F10 and finding it in the workshop, the medieval trebuchet is 2,396 small blocks, it uses no DLC pack stuff and no mods which makes it even more impressive. It does have a how to use but I'll talk you through that once I've gone and fired it. So we're just going to take a quick little looky around the outside, I don't need to explain it, it should be pretty self explanatory being it's a trebuchet, the bucket's going to come down and the arm's going to swing all the way around. So there we are. So when we spawn this in, if I come over here and actually spawn in a new one, there are quite a few in this world because I've been having fun with this, you have to make sure that you drop it down close to the ground so we don't damage it. So I'm just going to plop it like that and it will stick to the ground. Now we've got to run around to the back where we can access the warhead and click this button clearly labelled landing gear. We're going to press that, it's going to lock itself to the ground and now we can press a button to launch it which is this one. So when we spawn it in we do get a large warhead on there but unfortunately once this has been fired you can only use small warheads or in my case we're going to be using fusion warheads which is the mod that will also be in the description below. So I'm just going to bring my camera over to here, hopefully they're not going to smack into each other, they shouldn't do, there's a good chance they will. I'm just going to bring the camera over here because we want to follow, follow where it's going and we're going to fire it. It's just going to come over to there, press that and we're going to fire it. So off it goes, it's going to swing its arm, there goes the payload, goes quite some distance and it's going to drop down past another trebuchet and it's going to explode leaving a nice hole in the ground. But beans that's been fired we need to come back to our trebuchet and find my character. We can hit this button labelled reset where it will wheel back the arm nice and slow like and it'll eventually come all the way around and tuck itself so you can access the rotor there and put a new warhead on it. And there we go, so that's going to come down, clip itself onto the landing gear and we're good to go. So I'm going to place a small warhead on here, just a regular vanilla small warhead. Then we're going to come to this button panel here. So each time you want to launch a new warhead you have to come over to this button right here that says set warhead here. We're going to come to setup actions, find our new warhead, drag it down to the bar and click our warhead on and off. Once that's done we can exit all out of here and we can just launch it. Let's come into my free camera. There goes that small warhead. The small ones do travel a lot further than the large ones. But the small ones do have a small problem of not exploding most of the time because it lands on the road ahead. But that one did well. It did a small little hole. But that's not impressive is it? It's not like the large warhead that created a giant hole in the ground. So if I was to come over to one of the trebuchets round here just going to angle myself like that and find my character because the one over here has been set up with a fusion warhead which is a modded small block that's a very very powerful. So the fusion warhead if I just come over to here is this thing over here. It doesn't really cost anything different it's just a very fancy one that we can just put on there. So I've already placed one on here I was about to place another. You can place multiple warheads on this if you wanted to I'm just going to leave one on there. I believe I have already set everything up in here. If I come over to set over to actions. Yep. So we're good to go. So I'm just going to press that. Come into free camera. And away that goes. It just launches it up. And then we come down. And it'll create a nice hole in the ground. Well you see I've been testing it earlier. We will get a better look at the actual firing mechanic in a minute. There we go. That's the fusion warhead. It just gives a small warhead the same explosion size as the large one. So coming back over to here we're going to rotate this down and then we're going to see how this fires from a better perspective. So the arm has been retracted and that's a very pretty screenshot let's just go 12 that. I'm going to put a new fusion warhead on here just running through it one more time before I launch it again. We come over to the button panel, find the set warheads, set up the actions, drag the warhead down, arm it on off and away we can go. So I'm just going to bring the camera back around and then we're going to look at the firing mechanic. That seems like a good spot to do it from. And now I'm going to press it. The bucket comes down and the arm just swings all the way over. 
very nice stuff. Then that will keep swinging around until we press reset, which will then wheel the little wheels around, and it will just pull itself down. It's a very novel thing, and I didn't think people would be able to do that. I didn't think the game would allow for such things to happen, but it does. I would have thought Lord Plang would have destroyed this a long time ago. But now there is one final thing to do, and that is to launch the big warhead at the starting base. I think I've got this set up, I have not tested it. So we'll just come around to here, and then just bring my free camera back over, and away it goes. Every time I fire that, I can feel the Total Annihilation Kingdom trebuchet sounds in my head, and the sheer spammage of it when I play. Oh, that was so close. We knocked the ship away, and we took out quite a nice chunk of the base, but it needs to be a bit closer and that is the downfall of the trebuchet it has to be manually dropped into the world unless of course you want to set it up and well put wheels on it if you wanted to hover engines wheels thrusters whatever you wanted to do you could do it so that's a little bit closer we can just come around to here then i'm just going to lock it in place and i'm just going to fire it let's just look at the base from here the missile is now coming over look at that go and Splat. That's a little off. Didn't do much damage to it, but you get the idea. So it's a fantastic little design. I don't think there's too much else I can talk about. It's just a really novel design that you can use to go full medieval on a pirate base. So it'll be in the description below if you wanted to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a surprising lot of fun to launch warheads at people. I'll also leave a link to the Fusion Warhead below in case you want to use that over the standard regular small warheads. And thank you for watching. I'll be back with another showcase video somewhere soon. Bye bye. <laughs>